Mr. Bill, here we are at the SMMT South test day. Yes, I think it's a great opportunity to try out many different vehicles from many different manufacturers. Yes, all in the same place on the same day. Indeed. Um, they do know who we are, don't they? I hope so. Yes, uh, perhaps if they look at our videos, they might not invite us back. But let's not think about that now. Uh, there's just one problem, though. And what's the problem? I've forgotten my tweed jacket. Welcome to Slightly Shambolic SMMT Reviews. Well, viewers, we have an absolute treat today. <laughs> this is a 2021 Kia Stinger 3.6, sorry, 3.3 GTS. I believe this is a rear wheel drive car. There is an all wheel drive version available, I think, in some other markets. But this is a 3.3 litre V6 engine. Uh, which develops 361 brake horsepower. I believe um, the pre phased version of this was about 365. I think there's been some slight tuning. But we are just driving in eco mode at the moment because a very powerful rear wheel drive car in slightly damp conditions um, is not a recipe for the easiest time. Uh, it must be for a fun time, but not necessarily the easiest time. And as you know, on this channel, we uh, we drive sensibly and responsibly most of the time. So the Kia Sting has been out since um, late 2017. It has had um, an update quite recently, and uh, the biggest thing about that was they have reduced the engines in the European market down to just this 3.3 V6. The platform underneath this car is shared with uh, some Hyundai and Genesis models. It's sort of a rival, I think, to something like an, an Audi uh, sort of A5 Sportback, something like that, I would, I would say. Even in the eco mode, which, I, which I'm in at the moment, um, the car just feels very, very much like it wants to go. And even with the power turned right down, I can feel that we could make significant progress in this. In fact, let's just change this drive light to Sport Plus and see what happens. Oh my gosh, it's turned my traction control off. It's just a uh, sport, yes. Wow. Um, not to 60 in, in this car is very, very, very quick. I think it's about five seconds. Just absolutely, utterly effortless. I can feel we've got adaptive damping in this car as well, so it's sharpened up the ride and things. I'm just going to turn that back um, into eco so that we, yes, I can feel actually the seat bolster actually bunkered me in as we were coming along. <laughs> Isn't that great? Now, before um, the engines were removed in 2020, there was also a, uh, a two litre engine available for. Um, the Stinger with 250 horsepower, 2 litre turbo, and that, that's no longer sold. It might be worth get, getting, particularly if this car will send you a warranty if you uh, you know you want something that's a bit less crazy. There was also a 2.2 diesel available, but as usual, we don't talk about diesels on this channel. Well, viewers, look at this. It's actually got bits on it that look like they're sort of gold. Um, like the grill and the mirror caps look like they're gold. Extraordinary looking car. I, I do like the look of this. It's a little bit too extra for me in this GTS trim, which is the only one that you can get in this country now. But... Um, it does look quite nice. 19 inch uh, 
wheels on this with extraordinarily tiny profile tyres, 35 profile tyres, but 255s. This little detail here with the uh, reflector strip going into the side of the bodywork here is a very distinctive feature of the car. I'm still not sure whether I like this or not. I remember when this car came out, it was something that I found, uh, maybe not to my taste, but, you know, that's a really small quibble, really. Um, I think this car looks fantastic. I'd prefer a rear wiper if it were me. Apart from that, look at this. These twin exhausts on either side. Um these rear lights which look fantastic just the whole the whole look of the car and the fact this is a it's not a saloon it's a, it's, a, it's a hatchback but it's really sort of like a like a five door coupe i think some people would call this versing camera and parking sensors of course this one's got the older kia logo on it for some reason but look at that it's a it's a big space i'll just um make sure on my information when we have a look at my secret mission documents a bit later that the boot volume i think it's about 407 litres. I've just double checked that. If we lift this up, we'll see if we've gone in here. Oh, we've got a big tray. Tire mobility kit. That's not looking good for a um, like a spare wheel. No, there isn't. Oh, there's a battery down there. Wow, it's a massive battery in the boot. That's probably why you can't have a, um, a spare wheel. That's a huge battery. Um, Tell them one second, Viz, whilst I put all this stuff back. So there we are, Viz. We've managed to put everything back. That's an emergency release for the fuel filler flap. Uh, what's the boot light in here? Oh, it's an LED boot light. Twin LED boot lights. Oh, viewers. Mm, we like things like that. Uh, little tie-down points for the um, uh, sort of, you know, shopping, what was tied around. This car, um, from the time I look at the press sheet, I think costs in the region £43,000, which actually is pretty cheap for one, something like this. The performance and the, uh, the space you get. There we go, and a seven-year warranty too. But rivals just can't match that. Just open up the back and see how much space we've got in here. Ooh, heated multi-stage rear seats. Wow. Mmm, and lovely upholstery too. Now, I've heard some things about the back seats in these cars not being as spacious as they could have been. And this is my driving position, and I'm about 5 foot 11. And the legroom is not what I'd expect, really. It's, it's a little bit lacking in what I would think. Headroom is... It's okay for me, but I don't think if you were any taller than me, you'd find it that comfortable. Isofix child seat fastenings here. But that's sort of spring loaded, which is really good. Ah, rear armrest, of course. Oh, that feels nice. With, with cup holders. 12 volt and USB sockets in the back. Individual climate vents with a heat control. Very good, viewers. Very impressive. Let's just pull this door back. Oh, yes, soft touch. Door tops. Lever on the door cards. And you even got a massive door pocket for the bottle holder in it. This is pretty good. An LED courtesy light. Wow. Personally, I prefer a headline if it wasn't black, but because this is the GTS model, I think that's uh, what they would have gone with. Um, maybe on the sort of pre-facelift two-litre uh, petrol cars, it was a bit different. You could choose some different ones, but I mean, this'll do. <laughs> this'll do nicely. Right, let's uh, see if we can get them in the front and have a look at that beautiful big screen. Okay, keyless entry as one might expect, auto dimming side mirrors, blind spot monitoring and all kinds of things, electric memory seat. The seat actually, when I get in, will probably move forward. So if I close the door, let's see if this... Oh yes, and it's moved the wheel down. Brilliant auto folding mirrors here are the buttons for the um uh seat memory electric windows all round buttons for things like the fuel release that, that was for the tailgate and uh, that's for the lane keeping assist i imagine one of these will be for the uh cruise control we have adaptive cruise and this of course and all kinds of other exciting things Paddles for the, the 
eight speed automatic gearbox, which is just here. There's the drive mode selector, multi stage heated and ventilated seats. There's the reversing camera. Um, one thing I wasn't able to show, which I, I might be able to show just stationary, is uh, the um, little camera that comes up, which will be in the mirror somewhere, which uh, shows you when you're um, you know, pulling out of junctures and things. So if, if we just put on the brake and start her up. So if I, if I signal, will this camera? Yes, there you go. Or, yep, there's Mr. Bill just in the background there. One thing I really appreciate about this car is it's got analog dials in it. And I really like having analog dials. You can see we've got uh, gauges as well in the middle for things like uh, oil temperature, uh, torque, and I think that's for boost pressure as well. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can uh, cycle through some of this stuff. Actually, maybe it's this one here. Mode. Hold on one second, views. Right, there we are, found the right button. There we go, it's cumulated info. Uh, there's a compass heading there. Attention level, I hope my attention level is high at the moment because I'm in a stinger. Uh, digital speedo, and there's a gauge. So we can go, go through and just look at various things. I think we can go up and down as well. There we go. 22 miles per gallon. I think someone's been having some fun in this car. I mean, why why wouldn't you have fun in a Kia Stinger? Um, absolutely wonderful. Um, I don't know if we can get a sat nav directions in, the, in, uh, in there. We've got them here. So if I press this, does that do anything? Oh, right. Aha, right. That's map. Okay, cancel. There we go. Look. Ah, oh, yes. Oakley Hall Hotel, where we've been. So cancel. There we go. That's the sat nav. Fantastic. Uh, we've got media. Oh, we've got calming, calming noises of the lively forest. Um, can we have a different one? Car motion waves. A rainy day. Does sound like someone relieving themselves though. Open air cafe. It's not that loud. I don't know why you'd want that, but media. Yes. Um, what's the special star? There we go. It's custom buttons to make sense of what's going on. This is pretty good. I'm enjoying this, but I've now got the lively cafe on, so I'm going to have to uh, going to have to change that and the sound of the warm fireplace. Snowy village. Maybe I'll have to have that on. Great. Well, I've got three vents in here as well. Um, and um, if, if I turn the ignition off, will that stay on? Yes, good. Can hear the snowy village noises. Um, separate controls for the climate. Um, of course, we could have got uh, the Demos button, reheated window, um, fan up and down, and this is dual zone, of course. I don't know what that little QI thing is. Um, will that be Android Auto and Apple Car playing this? Um, it's not as many USB ports as I thought there'd be. There's some in here. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me. I'm a snowball fight in there. How extraordinary. Um, heated steering wheel. Let's see if we can get the parking camera up. Let's see if that will bring it up. Maybe I've got to turn the car on for that. Actually, well, hey, why not? Get the snow, snowy village is still going on. Parking camera. Let's see if that works. Great, yes, 360 camera and a reversing camera as well. I think you're going to need it in this car because the visibility doesn't look great. Got a, a um, electric sunroof. I've got the that open, so it's got better light for filming inside because the cabin's a little bit dark. Door bins are actually quite big, surprisingly big, and everything feels really, really nice. Very, very nice. Oh, sorry, that's not the camera. Uh, right, we're going to have to do a test with the secret mission documents. Let's see if we can do that. Let's move this build thing out of the way. There was a massive Kia manual in there. Let's pull that out first. Ooh, wow, it's heavy. Okay, let's see if this car is good for spy work. No! Why is it that my secret mission documents never fit in some of my favourite cars, viewers? That's a bit of a shame. Uh, leather, um, air or real level on the dash, not sure which it is. 
Um, it's, it's quite a soft touch on there. It's not as it's nice as Vespa material though. Um, yes, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And there's a button which you might need to be familiar with because that turns the traction control off if you want to be a bit lively with your driving. Um, and then auto hold for, for the handbrake. Uh, sorry, sorry, at, at, at auto hold of the handbrake is here. At auto start stop, which this car actually has. Brilliant. Well, we'll just turn the engine off and uh, save a bit of <laughs> the fuel that was be draining away and have a look under the bonnet. So here we are, viewers. Longitudinally mounted engine, a bit like a BMW. And uh, 361 horsepower, the official, the official figures say. Um, 3.3 litre V6. Uh, I think it's two turbos actually in one of these. It doesn't actually look that bad to work on. It, it could be easier, I suppose. I mean, V6s tend to be a bit more difficult than, you know, straight four engines and things like that. Um, knowing Kia, this will be a chain cam engine, so you don't have to worry about cam belts and things like that. Um, looks reasonably easy to service. And we've got two strap braces in here too. And look at that aggressive front end. Ooh, and a little front camera to which uh, you might need parking this in town because it is a bit of a big boy. Right, I think it's time to go for another drive. I've, I've just realised, viewers, that in addition to um, in addition to having a heads-up display in here, we've got LED interior lights. We've got a warm fireplace on the stereo Mr. Bill is listening to and dreaming that he was by a warm fireplace. There we go, a little camera that shows me if there's any obstructions in here. Um, just got to be careful coming out of here because it's a massive car and quite a restricted junction. But we can get out nice and quickly. We're still in the eco mode, but oh, viewers, even in the eco mode, that rear end wanted to slide. Crazy. £43,000 might sound like quite a lot for a car, but this is an awful lot of car for the amount of money you're spending. You'd have to spend maybe £60,000 on something from Audi, BMW or Mercedes to match the level of equipment and power that this car has. I can feel the lane keeping assist working as well, going through these corners. It's just extraordinary. It's a, it's a real driver's car. This. The chassis is excellent. I know that uh, Albert Beerman, who... Um, used to work for German premium manufacturers before he uh, went over to Kia and Hyundai um, was responsible for um, actually working on this and it is superb. Um, I have enjoyed this even far more than I thought I was going to ever since this car came out a few years ago. I've always wanted to have a go in one and I, I can absolutely say I'm not disappointed. It's a fantastic thing to have been driven in for a short time although the crackly noise of the warm fireplace <laughs> in the infotainment system is uh, slightly unnerving we might have to uh, we have to turn that off in a second um, but yes thank you ever so much indeed for watching uh, this episode of SMT um, reviews that are slightly shambolic because they are slightly shambolic um, please don't forget to like this video leave a comment below and um, to actually turn on notifications, which would be fantastic. Social media links are down in the description below. Thank you again to Mr. Bill from Wells Wheels for assisting me with filming today, which is probably why it looks a lot better than normally it would. And uh, we'll see you again soon for another one of these slightly shambolic SMMT reviews. Uh, uh